My first guest tonight is Andrew Bridgen, MP. He really does need no introduction from me. Andrew has had a very busy week and I'm keen to hear all about it. Andrew, thanks for coming and joining us once again. It's a pleasure. Uh, you raised the issue of bank accounts, specifically around Nigel Farage, but... Wonder. Yeah, Monday, Monday morning, um, the House doesn't sit till 2.30. I put in for an urgent question, get the minister to come to the dispatch box. Obviously, we heard what Jeremy Hunt had said about bank accounts. Um, I think it's a matter of, of huge concern. Um, first of all, they're coming for Nigel Farage's bank account. And, and to a point, he's got a platform, he's got a position but then they'll come for somebody else's and eventually they'll be coming for your viewers' bank accounts at this rate. And, th and the problem was that the Speaker's panel decided that wasn't worthy of note and discussion when, and no minister came to the dispatch box to answer questions. How, how can that be when every person, every functioning adult, is united by one thing, if nothing else, and that's the necessity well, of I can't a think of anything, anything that's, that's more set to cancel someone in, in our modern society than not having access to a bank account and banking facilities. You, you really can't function as a human being. How do you read that unwillingness, that refusal to... to well, I've, I've, seen, I've seen what Nigel's bank has said in its defence for cancelling his bank account, uh, that he didn't meet the criteria, but that doesn't explain why nine other banks wouldn't open an account for him. And, quite honestly, as, as an MP for the Reclaim Party, I mean, for three years, a, a fully authorised political party with the Electoral Commission and we haven't been able to have a bank account that we can put donations and memberships into. It's, it's alarming, is it not, Julie? It's dystopian. It's, it's the kind of stuff that would have been written about by George Orwell and that we never thought could happen. As you say, without a bank account, you, you don't exist. So to take someone's right away, to, as you say, to transact, if they want a cashless society, then you need a bank account. If you take that away, how do you transact? How do you even live? Uh this has been going on for years, you know, and, and you know, for example, you know, uh, Tommy Robinson, Katie Hopkins, they lost their accounts. In this I've also been told this week of four former uh, Brexit Party MEPs who've lost their ought, bank account. Ought we to have spoken up earlier? Because the lesson from history is always, you know, it, it's not about the, the, the identity nor indeed the views of the people that are being discriminated against. It's the discrimination itself that you want to go after. Should we, should we all have been more... Uh, <clears throat> I think we should, we should always defend the freedoms of people we don't necessarily agree with. And, and obviously Nigel, for some people, is, is a Marmite politician. But if you don't defend Nigel's right for a bank account, who's going to defend yours?